Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. I went on a jog the other day with my husband. I hate to jog, but I'm trying to do it more often lately. And I get so bored out of my mind when I'm jogging that I decided halfway through the jog I'd, I would try to think through a tune in all the keys. And actually it made the time go really fast. And I didn't realize that I could think through a tune in all 12 keys. It was a tune that I was trying to learn. Um, it's, it's a Brazilian tune called uh, Maria Ninguém. It goes like this. I don't know the words to it because it's in Portuguese, but I love that tune. And the bridge is tricky, so I... Actually, you know, through my jog, I, I thought through all 12 keys of the bridge. And you might say, how do you do that? And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about playing a tune in all 12 keys and thinking a tune in all 12 keys. Because if you're not at your instrument, you should be able to think a tune in all 12 keys. I hadn't really realized that before, but it's true. I thought the tune that we might take today is Skylark because it's kind of a tough tune, but I think people know it. It's a very standard jazz standard. Um, I don't know what the original key is, but I'll, I'll start it in B flat and goes like this. It has the one chord. I'm not gonna show you the music to this. I'll show you my hands and I'll show you my thought process, but no, no sheet music. You guys, everybody can Google it if you want to, or it's on iReal Pro, it's in your real book. We're, we're thinking in numbers. That's kind of the key. When we're talking through a tune or thinking through a tune, we're mostly going to be thinking in numbers. So, so here I'm thinking one, but I do realize that the six is the starting melody tone. Skylark, and then it goes two. And if you want to, you can do a passing chord to like a B flat over D. It's an E flat major chord, so the four chord. Then it does a thing where it hops to the sharp four dominant chord, so E7. And, and that's, a, that's a tritone substitution to get you to an E flat major chord. So the E flat major chord is the four chord. And then I go down to the D minor and then a two, five, one, six, two, five. And then it all repeats. Um, so the, the second time on the A section, uh, it goes like this, B, B flat major. It goes down a whole step. I'm, show, I'm trying to show you things in pretty easy root position. Then it goes down to the sixth chord. Here's the bridge. And then, and then a little passing thing happens. So it goes six, it's gonna walk down to the five, but the five's gonna turn into minor. And then it's a two five in the key of the four, which is E flat. So we go to the four, and then we've got a minor two five to the two. It actually goes, I, I remember it as being the flat seven, so a, a whole step down from the tonic. And that is on the words, will o' the wisp. So sometimes you make little associations, like it goes to the flat seven on will o' the wisp. And then it's, it's a nice, easy two, five, one uh, to the four. And then it just drops a half step, but it's major. This is the coolest part of Skylark. And we do a one six two five, and that's a that's a dominant two. Uh, call it the five of five. Now we've completed our statement in the key of D, and then we just five it. We five it back to B flat major. Oh, Skylark, and then it does the same thing as you know the first A, pretty much. Remember the tritone. And it's actually a tritone away from B flat, so that's how I remember it. But it is a tritone substitution leading us to the four chord, because look at the third and seven of it. It's a G sharp and a D, and if you flip-flop those, 
It's a B flat seven chord, right? There's the third of B flat, there's the seven of B flat, and that would lead us, uh, right? A B flat seven chord should lead us to E flat, which is where we're going. So, right here. And then the very last time, when we, when we go to the B flat major chord, we just do this cool little tag that's on the end of Skylark. I'll make it really easy, just A flat major, A, B flat. Um, of course, if you want to, you can go, uh, you can make those both dominant chords and then, uh, you know, a six chord at the end or something. Yeah. All right, so there we go, that's B flat. Now. I'm just going to show you how I go about practicing it in other keys. And every once in a while I'll talk, but I'll just show you a couple other keys. And when I do this, I like to go, I like to go sometimes around the circle of fourths. So if I start in B flat, then I'll go to E flat, then A flat, then D flat, um, so on until I get back to B flat. Other ways to do it are you can go, you can go ascending chromatically. So you can start in B flat, then you can go to B and then you can go to C and then D flat, um, or you can descend chromatically. I like to switch it up. I don't like to do things the same way when I'm practicing so that I don't get bored and so that my ears get used to new things. Um, but right now, let's, um, oh, what's more difficult? Let's descend chromatically, I guess. Okay, so this is, and you know, when I'm doing this, I'm also just, I know the melody to this song. That's That's already in me. So if you don't know the melody to the song that you're trying to learn, you need to go back to my video, Bruh, Do You Even Melody, and make sure that you can work out that melody, and not just in one key, but in all of the keys. Um, because when you're doing this, you're really thinking of the chords. That's mostly what we're, you know, learning. So you've got to have that melody as just something that you don't think about. We're thinking about chords, we're not thinking about melody. Okay, so I've just done B flat. Let's try A. Here's the tritone, so away from A. And I know it's going down a half step. up both times on that. whole step and then we're two fiving to the four those are the hard parts to remember down a half step five uh, and we're going to a <laughs> flat. One more for you.
Sometimes. Because I like to do that. Add the sharp nine. I do always have to stop and think of it. That's harder. Uh, to the four now. thought sometimes that happens you know you get thinking about something else while you're playing you lose your train of thought so I actually had to go back and think all right uh, G flat 7 G7 A flat major 7 you know sometimes you have to do that so there we go three keys for you now let's talk it through and this is boring but I gotta show you I think I gotta show you so let's do it in a difficult key let's do it in let's do it in the key of F sharp I think um, and and this is also a key thing. When I'm thinking through a song in, you know, in the key of F sharp, I do like to challenge myself extra to actually have to say the names of every note. Because in the key of F sharp, we're talking about F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp. And you know, we get lazy when we see, when we're in the key of F sharp, if, if we see an F, we want to say F instead of remembering that it's E sharp. So at least, you know, while this song sits in the key of F sharp, sometimes it will modulate, but when it's in the key, I'm going to say E sharp to myself and to you. Um, so when you're just, you know, out walking or jogging, you can envision your keyboard or your saxophone or whatever your instrument is, your trumpet. Um, you can actually, if, if it's a trumpet, that's easy. You can just like, you know, do this. Um, but you can, sometimes I do like this, you know, with my fingers. I just kind of play on my palm or on my, on my legs or something. Or sometimes I, I don't do that at all. You kind of got to see what you can do and go for it. Um, but... You, you're going to say the names of the chords. You're going to sing parts of the melody. You're going to sing parts of the chords. I'll just show you, I guess. Um, now, if I'm just on my own, this is how I'll do it. You know, I'll, I'll do my best to find an F sharp. La, da, 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 da. And here I go. Uh, Skylark. Do, 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 da, da, da. Do, be, ba, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, C7, B, do, D, da, A sharp, do, 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 G sharp, da, do, do, B, do, 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 uh, F sharp on the melody. Ooh, then minor, da, do, 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 da, do, 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 F sharp, D sharp, do, 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 that's how I do it. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I can't even look in the camera and do it because I'm in my head so much. I'm thinking so much. If I'm challenging myself extra hard, it's like this, and I'll look. I'll look right at you for this part. I got this. So it, F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, E sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, and then F sharp, and then. D, do, C. That's a hard note to hear. I usually have to go F sharp, A sharp, C, and then I like to sing it C E G B flat. Ooh, 
like that. All right, so you're saying the name of every note, and you can do that in all the keys, especially if you take like you know a 45-minute job. Then you've got all the time in the world to just think through this. It's important. I know it's I know it's tedious, like so many things. But if you really, really, really want to learn a tune, you have to think through it and play through it in all of the keys. And thinking through it is an extra challenge. Playing through it, you can fudge your way. Like if I, you know, let's try the the bridge in the key of F sharp because that's hard. F sharp's hard for me. And and this time, let's think about it in G flat. So we've got a G flat major seven chord. And then, so from here, this is e, e flat minor to D flat or to D minor to D flat minor. C flat major, down a half step. Will of the Wisp. Mm -hmm. We're in the key of F sharp. <laughs> of F sharp. I have to remind myself a lot sometimes. I didn't, I guess I didn't fudge my way through it so much. I, I don't think I made any mistakes because I was slow and methodical in my thinking. But I shouldn't just do it once because that was awful. Like I was really slow in the key of G flat. So I've got to go back and do it again. I try it again, you know. mistake, so I should go back and do it again, right? Even then, I just forgot that I was in F sharp. It's easy to do. If you just cadence in B flat, you kind of think, okay, how do I get back to F sharp? It's, it's all, you know, it's all in, in your head. It's a lot. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little, a little you know, process a little bit of how you go through this kind of thing and think about it in all the keys and and how you talk to yourself in numbers you can you know the flat seven we're going to cadence to the to the three chord now like you find these little ways that help you to think through a tune and once you go through all 12 keys your brain's going to hurt a little bit but you're going to really start to grasp the tune and once you do it about five times, so that's 60 times, right? Then you're going to be able to stop thinking so much. I promise. <laughs> it's a lot of times. And don't be too hard on yourself. And this, uh, you know, this is not for the, this, this is not for the weak. This is not for the beginner. This is, this is for the advanced student that's ready to actually dive in and start, you know, accompanying singers so that sometimes you have to play things in G flat or in, in B or C sharp or, Th those are the times when you're going to be so glad that you've done this homework. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.